Hello, and welcome to another Let's Play. We are now playing The Last Door, a point-and-click horror game. So a confession, this game comes in two parts, two seasons. I've actually played the first season. I discovered it on Congregate a long time ago, and I loved it. And then I bought the full two seasons when they came out on Steam, and I never got around to the second one. So, I decided to play it now, for one, so that I could experience the end of this story, and for two, because I'm excited for another game that's coming out in December, and I thought I could do a shorter game while waiting for it to come out. Alright, so we are here, we're playing The Last Door. Start with episode one. Now warning, this game, after all the things I have seen, Warning, this game has jump scares, it has uh, dread horror, all kinds of stuff that I love, but just uh, throwing that out there. All the things I have seen. Uh, oh yeah, a trigger warning for the beginning here. Um, yeah. So this game should uh, come with the same warning that Amori came with. So it, it is uh, kind of, it can be disturbing, as you will see. So yeah, this is how the game opens. After all the things I have done. I cannot escape the course my life has taken. And uh, maybe... Maybe I'll even censor this, I don't know. Now, I am beyond redemption. I just hope you can forgive me someday. Yours sincerely, Anthony Beechworth. Yeah, so I didn't talk there because I was like, oh yeah, this music. I remember loving that music. October 1981. So yeah, the game starts out with a guy killing himself. So that kind of sets the tone for what this game is going to be like. It is... It is, uh... Dread horror. Yeah, that's what it is. Now, I don't know how to pronounce that. That was all my childhood friend, Anthony Beechworth, had written me in his letter. It had been many years since I had heard that sentence. It was the motto of the science and philosophy group that we had secretly run as students back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. But we had left it all behind like mere childhood memories. That letter was unusual. It could only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex and made my way to the address on the letter. And there it was. The old house of Anthony's family. The Beechworth Manor. Episode 1, A Letter. 
Okay, here we are at the manor, and this game is a point-and-click game, so that's the type of puzzle we'll be doing. It's been a while since I've played this. I have played the first chapter multiple times, but I don't remember it very well. So, it's not blind, but it is, you know, fuzzy memory. The fields surrounding the house stretch majestically as far as the eye can see. I did not know Anthony was the owner of such a property. And I should be giving him a British accent, but what, I can't do that, whatever. What's this? Oh, it's just more. Hey, look! You might not be able to see it very well, but it's crows. A murder of crows is eating eagerly. There are so many birds I cannot see their prey from here. Yep, so it's not called a flock of crows, it's called a murder of crows. It's latched from the inside. This is strange. Everything is silent, as if there was no one living here. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. Well, we know what happened to him. Uh... My coat. A grandfather clock. It's the only sound around here. Is this Anthony? The years have not been kind to him. A note on the table. Dear Mr. Beechworth, due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us and much to our regret. We have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all those years in your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. Did I? Yeah. Is it gonna let me go over here? No, it won't. It's too dark. I can't go any further. This door is stuck. It won't open. A cabinet with glasses and some liquor bottles. There's also a matchbox. And then click again to take it. These matches could come in useful. A machine that plays recorded music. I did not know that Anthony was such an enthusiast of new inventions. I think a recording of sound or music can be played if an engraved cylinder or disc is inserted, but I see no such object in this device. Interact with later, I guess? A deer head overlooks the room with glass eyes. That large window is wide open, letting the cold dusk air in. A fireplace. Looks like it has not been cleaned in a long time. go in the very dark door. <laughs> a seascape. There's a small boat struggling against the roaring waves. A rainy mountain landscape. The kitchen stove and a cleaning cloth. A plate with some days old leftovers. Plates and pans. I have unlatched the door. Oh, and if the if the game sound is too loud, I will notice it by episode two and I will change it. A variety of herbs and oh, this is Britain. A variety of herbs and ingredients. <laughs> Alright, we're back here. A garbage bin. Judging by the foul odor, I would say it has not been emptied in a fortnight. So once you've been somewhere, you can uh, click again when the two yellow arrows appear to fast walk. This portrait is crooked. Move it. Move it again. I remember this puzzle. 
There's an item behind it. An old rosary. A cord of beads with a solid wooden crucifix. I remember that one giving me trouble. This painting depicts a deep, dark forest. There's a creepy stain on the ground. This door is locked. You should try and find the key to open it. Can I look at stuff with the lens, I guess? Look at me. Look at this. Look at the matches. A matchbox. An old rosary. I think I read that description when I found it. A small plant brings some life to this place. A wash basin and some toiletries. There's nothing of interest in these drawers. March 5th, 1891. Master Anthony has made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with him? Luckily, I have found a place to hide my rosary. I cannot pray every night without it. Master Anthony has been complaining about Alfie. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I cannot let that poor thing starve. He is such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about Master Anthony. He's growing more and more unlike himself every day. September 15th, 1891. Master Anthony is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. And uh, sorry for anyone who is British, if I am, I'm doing an American impression of a British accent, I know it's probably horrible. The window is so dirty that it can barely see through to the outside. What's that on the wall? There's a discoloration on the wall in the shape of a cross, as if one had hung there for many years and been recently removed. Let's put, let's put this there. No? It's not letting me put it there. Okay, it's just lore. There's nothing of interest in these drawers. Now the window's open. Is that something like hang the rosary out there? I don't remember why. The cold wind of the evening is a relief in this suffocating atmosphere. This is one of those try all the items everywhere. The only reason I need to do that is because I've played this game before and I remember it. And I already read that. Oh yeah, it's locked. Uh, I guess I can use these matches to... to uh, go the other way. Maybe? No? Alright, have I gotten to a place where I can't figure out what to do yet? Alright, I gotta look for stuff. Maybe it's something outside? Can I walk over? Nope. They won't let me walk over there. Oh, what did that say? Those crows are too vicious. Getting close could be dangerous. Are crows dangerous in real life? I know that there's like... They peck people's eyes out in stories, but I don't know are they dangerous in real life? Alright, I gotta figure out what I haven't clicked on yet. Can I open the clock? No? Uh, can I light the fireplace? There's no need to do that. <laughs> well, items somewhere on one of these shelves? Oh. There we go. It might come in handy, I'll take it. Yeah, sometimes you have to click things after you've examined them to actually take the item. It's an old cloth, can I light it on fire? No. Hehehe. 
Uh, maybe I can put it on here? No. What am I looking at? An empty bowl. A lamp to light the way. Let's take it. <laughs> Didn't click on the right pixels. Old cloth and lamp. No. Matches. Lamp. Alright. Lit lamp. Old cloth. Mat lamp. Okay, I guess we're not setting the cloth on fire. There's a tiny dark hole in the wall. Alright, now we can go up that one way. No, not there. Here. Okay. You weren't creeped out before? Maybe you are now. This doorway has been boarded up. This door opens. This one does not. A double bed. From the accumulated dust, I would guess it has not been slept in for a very long time. The fireplace is black with soot. A gentleman with a serious, inquisitive look. This window leads to a balcony shared with the adjacent room. I cannot open the latch. It's stuck. Perhaps I could do so using a small tool. Small photographs and old... I don't... Daguerreotypes? I've never heard of that word. I have heard that word when I played this game before, but I do not remember it, and I don't know what it means. Mostly family portraits. door is stuck. It won't open. They're firmly nailed down. I cannot remove them with my bare hands. Oh, did I not look at the table? A silver key. Let's take it. Uh, it won't open the window because it said it needs a, uh, something. Let's see if it opens this door. No? Actually, let's see if it opens the window. I can try it at least. The key is too thick. I need something thinner to remove the latch. Alright. So what else is is uh I can't pry the boards with the key. That's not gonna work, right? Yeah. Where are we going? Uh not there. Over here. Uh yeah, I, I was trying that. Didn't mean to click on it. Oh yeah, this place. What is this? I think this is a slate disc record. The sleeve reads, The Carnival of Venice. Let's take it. There's some wood. A crowbar? A slightly rusted iron crowbar. A small pile of firewood, twigs, and chunks of dry bark. Let's light it on fire! <laughs> Let's not. The boiler looks like it has been out of use for a long time. Can we put wood in it? I guess I don't know why we'd want to, we're just visiting. No, I want to walk.
the way it forces you to go slow in these dark areas is really creepy. Yeah, that's just the way out. Let's go play this record. Not in here. Here we go. music it is so lovely it feels good on my ears and I was just stuck <laughs> okay let's turn that on it must be broken I do not know how to make it stop okay bye the music has abruptly stopped ghostly all right let us Open this door. <laughs> Music in this game is gorgeous. Except the record. <laughs> what does that say? Leave, leave me alone? My god, what has happened here? The writing on the walls reads, Leave me alone. Who would have written such a thing? An old wheelchair. It is a letter. Dear Margaret, it has been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whisper angrily, frightfully, and it gets worse at night. Our service left a few days ago. Without their help and company, I am lost. I can barely walk out of bed and not even the doctor will come here after his argument with Anthony. My husband has developed a horrible ability to break anyone's will. I do not know what to do. I do not have any strength left. I wish I could send you this letter. Your dear friend, Anna Beechworth. The lifeless body of a woman has been here for a few days. Looks like she is clutching a note in her hand. Let's take it out of her lifeless fingers. I am writing what will surely be my final thoughts, my last lines, my last breath. I do not know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now, a stranger, with a look bereft of all sanity, compassion, and human warmth. I do not know what shadow has slowly darkened our lives. I do not know this foreign guest now dwells in our souls. I do not know where it is from, but I'm sure it's not from this world. I will meet my brothers and sisters soon. I will be free from this abyss of madness and fear. Soon, I will stop trembling. A simple long hairpin. So, it looks like, and I kind of remember this, but kind of not. The story is that these characters were in a, like a science philosophy club, like this, they said in the introduction that was the science and philosophy club, but it was like magic and occult, actually. And that's kind of what, kind of what it's, it's turning, showing itself to be magic and occult. The writing on the walls reads, Leave me alone, who would say such a thing. A letter in feeble handwriting. I cannot go on, all is lost. It is a diary page. I cannot stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know they think that I am not worthy of this family, but who are they but dust and bones? A memory. Leave me. I do not need you. Leave me alone.
a woman of strong features and dark hair. She has a bold look in her eyes. She looks like the woman on the bed. She is holding a baby. Could that be Anthony's child? The young Anthony, just like I remember him. This old man bears some resemblance to Anthony, but his countenance is marred by a severe, unsettling gaze. Something's clinking like silverware on dishes. This young woman, not yet in her twenties, stares defiantly back at me. A man with blonde hair. I feel as if I have seen him before. A portrait of Anthony standing beside a mounted wildcat or lynx. The paint looks fresher around the animal's head. Can I... That would just smear the fresh paint. So I can't wipe it off. There's a big raven perched outside the window, tapping on the glass with its beak. Oh, that's what the sound is. Alright, time to look around again until I find something else. Wait, there was a thing I didn't pick up. <laughs> Can I use this on? Oh, on the on the the, the door downstairs. No, no, it's not downstairs, it's in here. There we go. Using the hairpin, I've managed to spring the latch with ease. And now I'm in... Oh, I'm in the room on the far left, I think. I open it. Yep, right here. Some sort of spilled chemical product. It smells strongly of what? Vinegar. A can of paint thinner. Ah, you can use this on the picture. Remains of chemical experiments. A map of the region of Sussex with mockings drawn on its surface. Some strange books written in a language unknown to me. On top of the ladder, there's a trap door with a keyhole reinforced with gold. The gold enforced trap door is locked. I need to find the key. Yeah, so so this is the reason why I don't why I want to try to do blind let's plays is that I don't have a lot of things to say about a game I've already played. It's like, oh, I know what happens. Like if I, if this were blind, then I could be theorizing. I could be have like this, like the first time I played this game, it was terrifying. Like I was like, oh, what is happening? And uh, I can't have that reaction because I know where the story goes. That's why, that's why I'm wait, excited for season two, because then I get to see what it what it's all like. Paint thinner. I cannot pour the thinner directly onto the canvas. It would remove every layer of paint, the fresh image as well as whatever originally lay beneath. Dampen the cloth with paint thinner. All right, time to see what this original painting was. What was eliminated? The thinner has worked, the fresh paint is gone, and now I can see the original painting. The lynx's mouth is open, as if it were growling. That's gotta be important, right? Important for something? I know there's something to do with the crows at one point. And this door... Remains locked. The crow's still there? Nope. One of them is left. Oh yeah, this part. A dying crow. Not much life left in it. And you pick up the dead dying crow and put it in your inventory. <laughs> Plates and pan. Do I cook it? No. Yeah. 
I don't remember what I'd do with the crow. What am I supposed to do with the dying crow? Leaving it in the boiler would achieve nothing. Oh, I think I know what to do with it. I think I know what to do with it. Jesus Christ, I forgot about that scene. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I said jump scares, okay? <laughs> the curtains are drawn. Oh. You can tell it's, it has been a while since I played this. Oh. No, not here. Where, where was it? It was that bedroom. Man, I love the music in this game. It's so creepy. This is where I want to put, try putting it. Don't remember why I want to put it there. I want to look at it. I've laid the crow in the bowl. I hear something in the distance. It sounds like a lament. Where are we going now? I would better leave it alone. <laughs> uh. This door is still locked. Oh, hey, it's a lynx. Just, am I gonna... This lynx looks like the one in Anthony's portrait. Its mouth is shut like it was before I revealed the original painting. Uh, can I open it? Do I need an item to open it? I can, right, I can walk out the window. <laughs> That's locked up there. Wait, uh, what? Did I not read that? That goddamn cat. He meows every night, and it is for me, I know it. He is mocking me, he knows my secret. He knows. I will not let him ruin everything. I do not have any choice. I have to put an end to his miserable life. Better yet, I will blind him. Gabby, Gabby Lynx, you would not confess. No, not you. What's that? A common hammer in good condition. Let's take it. Let's use it on the lynx. I would hate to damage this fine work of taxidermy. Oh, come on. It's in its mouth. Diary pages. They will not bother me anymore. I'm done with their censorious gazes, their whispers. Is already. There's only one thing left to do. One thing left to do. Pixel hunt. And no, I'll break the door down. I'll break the clock. No. Oh, I love the game music in this game. Ah, 
Oh, the music is so good. Oh, I, I can go go back and uh, check the check the crow. Where did the crow go? The lynx ate it. The crow is gone. That did something. So it's like religion magic. Sacrifice the crow with the rosary there and the, yeah, creepy stuff. There's still the singing. Have I not discovered the singing? The sound is louder down here. Oh, okay. Okay. This is creepy. Oh, it's a cat. Oh no, is there a cat in the boiler? Is it over here? The cat seems to be behind this wall. Some Edgar Allan Poe stuff. Okay, that looks like an eyeball. A black cat is staring at me. But wait, its eyes are missing. Good lord, it almost ripped my eyes out. I just run away into the dark. There's an open chest with a dark cloak, a mask, and a knife. The knife could be useful. Dark cloak and a mask? Buried in a basement? Friend Anthony, what were you up to? I actually don't remember. I actually don't remember what the end of season one was, what we discovered. What am I using? Uh, pry open the Lynx face. Oh, that's not where I'm meant to go. That's where I'm meant to go. Because this is... Uh, I thought it would be faster than... But nope, I gotta walk all the way over there. Right. Knife. Open the mouth. I managed to get the lynx's mouth open. There's a golden key inside. Let's use the key up here. And now... We see... We discover... Oh. Oh god, no! Anthony, no! Portrait of a woman, Anthony's wife. She looks very happy here. It's weird that I can examine that. The lifeless body of my dear friend. What madness could have led him to commit such an act? There's something in his pocket. It's a sealed letter. Dear J. Devitt, If you are reading these lines, then I am nothing but a dead body hanging before you. I write to you in my last shreds of lucidity. You are one of my oldest friends, and when I sent you the letter asking you to come here, I did not doubt for one moment that you would. Had you failed me this evening, everything would have been lost. I have found myself involved in a series of horrible incidents. For reasons beyond my comprehension and sanity, I've become a total stranger to myself and to my closest relatives, capable of the most indescribable and atrocious acts. I cannot give you any more details at this time. At this time? You're gonna give more details later? I must ask you to go immediately back to the boarding school where we made that pact, where we all swore on our honor that sentence that would protect us. This letter must not reach anyone else, so it is imperative that you destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group, and yours too, are in great danger. Do not delay, they are already waiting for you. 
Seeing is believing, Devitt. Do not forget that. Always your loyal friend, Anthony Beechworth. Yeesh. 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 Okay. That was episode one. The adventure continues in episode two. All right. Yeah, so so this game was like a Kickstarter crowdfunded thing the whole way. And uh, now there's two seasons, I guess, each with four episodes. And it's been like that for like five or six years. So I don't, I think the, the story is over. Um, and so that's, so I think we're getting the full story in this Let's Play. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe for more of The Last Door. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.